Hi everyone, how are you? Today I am going to teach you the first chapter of science is how plants make food. In this chapter, we will learn about process of photosynthesis, structure of leaves, storehouses of food, interdependence of plants and animals, some unusual plants, parasitic and insectivorous plants. Before going to start this video, if you like this video, you like it, share it and subscribe to my channel. Now let's start. All living things need food to survive. Food provides the energy needed to grow and carry out life activities. Plants make their own food in their leaves. Unlike animals, they do not need to search for their food. Leaves are therefore also called the food factory or the kitchen of the plant. We already know about the plants and animals. Plants can make their own food but animals cannot. The leaves of plants are called food factory. Now we will go to next point. How do plants make food? The leaves of plants are mostly green in color because of a green substance called chlorophyll. This green substance is called the chlorophyll. This substance is necessary for the leaf to make its food. This green substance, this chlorophyll is very important to make their food. This is why only plants with green leaves can make their own food. If on the leaves this green substance is not present, then that leaves cannot make their food. So, this chlorophyll is very important to make their food. The process by which plants make food is called photosynthesis. The procedure of making food is called the photosynthesis. Photosynthesis means what? Photo means light and synthesis means putting together. During photosynthesis, leaves put together carbon dioxide from the air and water from the soil and use the energy of sunlight to make their food. Means this is the photosynthesis. Okay. Leaves put together carbon dioxide from the air and water from the soil and use the energy of sunlight to make their food. It is chlorophyll which traps sunlight for this purpose. During the process of photosynthesis, food is prepared in the form of sugar. Oxygen is given out by the leaves. This is the formula of the photosynthesis. Water plus carbon dioxide, chlorophyll in the presence of sunlight, plants make their food is sugar and oxygen given out. Okay, this is the formula of the photosynthesis. Now we go to next point. Structure of a leaf. A typical leaf has the following main parts. Leaf lamina, leaf stalk, midrib or main vein. Look here. Here is leaf lamina. All these are the veins and this is the midrib and this is the leaf stalk. The lamina is the flat green part of a leaf. This is lamina. This is the green part of the leaf. Leaf stalk. This is the stalk. The leaf stalk is the part of a leaf that attaches the leaf lamina to the stem. This stalk is attaches to the leaf lamina to the stem. Water and minerals that come up the stem 
आर सप्लाइड टू द लिफ थ्रू द लिफ स्टाक मिड रिप और मेन वेन मिड रिप इज अ थीन ट्यूब दैट रन्स फ्रॉम द बेस टू द टिप ऑफ द लिफ इट ट्रांसपोर्ट्स वॉटर एंड मिनरल्स टू द लिफ जस्ट लाइक द लिफ स्टॉक दिस मिड रिप ऑल्सो प्रोवाइड वॉटर एंड मिनरल्स टू द लिफ दिस वेन्स आर arising from the mid rib and it provides water and minerals to the leaf veins are the thin tubes arising from the mid rib these veins provide shape and support to the leaf they distribute water and minerals to all parts of the leaf okay i already explained how veins are work the veins supply water and minerals to the leaf and also they provide shape and support to the leaf because of this veins the shape of the leaf will be designed they distribute water and minerals to all parts of the leaf stomata A leaf contains tiny pores or openings called stomata. Singular is stoma. These are generally present on the lower surface of the leaf. During photosynthesis, leaves take in carbon dioxide and give out oxygen and water vapor through stomata. This stomata is present on the lower side of the leaf. This stomata means what? they are the tiny pores from that pores leaves can take in carbon dioxide and give us oxygen and water vapors chlorophyll if we observe a leaf under a microscope we will see that it is made up of small sections these sections contain the substance chlorophyll or sections these small sections contain the substance it is chlorophyll because of this chlorophyll traps the energy of sunlight that leaves use to make food this chlorophyll traps the sunlight energy it helps to make their food in this video we stop here and we continue to next video in the last I also provide the question answers of this chapter so stay tuned